almost didn't turn the mic on again. I'm just gonna get to the point, straight to the video, because I tend to ramble. I did a poll on my Instagram story, and it looks like most of you are like me, and I'm a really nosy person. I like to see what people like buy and stuff like that. I don't know, weird. I'm basically just gonna show you guys things that I bought on Amazon since starting April, because that's when my job kind of started this weird rotational schedule where I work a lot less and that's when like quarantine or the stay at home order really started for me because I still do have to go to work. So I'm going to do this. I put the pile of stuff that I bought over here and I'm going to get started. I'm going to go in order afterwards because the first thing I want to show is this and I want to show it first because I want to try it on my chair. I usually have like that blue cat blanket on this chair and it's because I don't know if you can see that and this my cat the little gray one she loves to scratch like she beats this chair up she likes to scratch it I used to put the blue blanket but I like to cover myself with that blue blanket my sister bought it for me once as a congratulation gift and also I feel like the blue blanket when I put it on the chair it just looks really like little kid-ish like it looks like a little kid's room so i found this on amazon this blanket and it's super soft i read a bunch of reviews it was pretty inexpensive the only complaints in the reviews was that it wasn't like dense enough so it's very thin but for the price you can't really complain i read that people's cats love it or that it's really warm or comfortable to sleep with but i'm not gonna sleep with it i'm gonna put it on this chair um so what's the next thing i bought oh the next thing i bought was like a little foldable table, the same kind of tables you have at like the carne asada family parties, but a mini one. I was just so I could be more comfortable when I'm making like a makeup video. Let me s this table and I'll, all of it is just like those tables. I basically bought it because what I was doing before was this big ass desk slash vanity, whatever. It's huge and it's a little heavy. I would move it over here and knock everything down and have to move my whole room around just so I would have something to like place whatever I was filming with. And that little table, now whenever I want to film, I can leave my desk here and then just put the little table here and put my stuff on it and it works perfectly. Um, the next thing I got, this wasn't from Amazon, but I wanted to share it because it was $18. I'm an extremely like cheap person when it comes to buying my own things. And I didn't know step stools were expensive, at least cute ones are. And, and even like the regular ones just cost a lot of money. So I found this step stool. It's the perfect height, it's, two, it's a two step. Um, so I could get it at the top of my closet. A lot of things I got, I felt bad for ordering the Amazon, like all delivery people, which are essential workers, are doing a really great job. And they're working extra hard because we can't stop buying shit. We as in everyone in the world. A lot of the things I bought were like, they're not essentials or like, I don't need it, but they're like to make my living more functional, I guess, and like the room a little more organized and things that I'm gonna actually use. Oh, I bought this yoga mat and then I got this one specifically. I have bad back, bad knees, bad everything, bad wrists. And look how thick it is. See, like the regular yoga mats are like super thin and for me they don't, they barely help. So I really wanted a thick yoga mat. So this one's really cool, but I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully it doesn't like wear and tear really easily. What else did I bought? Um, let me just go over the things that I bought that I'll just clip an image of because they're already up. I bought some lights for my room. I don't really like the lights very much because it's not the image I had in my head but um, I mean they're pretty cute and it makes the room feel a little happier. I love lights. Lights make me feel happy. I was going for more of like a fairy light look which my sister, I got her some and I'll insert a clip of hers too because hers is more of an image that I had in my head for my for the wall that my bed is against but it's okay. I still like them. And then I got a picture frame because my sister got me this uh, artwork from Andy Warhol. I think I'm saying the name right. And I just had it in the plastic and I just kind of sit it up against the dresser and it always falls and it's super cute. So I wanted to get a picture frame for it. So we're talking about that. I also bought things to hang, like whatever I want to hang or so New York walls are like super cheap. Like it's, I don't know, you can hang something and it just falls. Even if you use like the butterfly clips and stuff. Just from my personal experience, because I've tried to hang things on the walls a lot, this brand, Command, so they're just like, are double-sided, like really strong uh, tapes. You can hang, like I used these to hang 
the picture frame. And then along with that, I also got, again, Command brand because their stuff sticks really well. These little um, hanging clips, which is what I use to hang my light. I like it because I don't know if you guys have ever like peeled double-sided tape or these kind of double-sided sticky things and then like you can't get the sticker off. These peel really easily so you like, hang the lights on them so you don't see like tape or like some big old bulky thing that you're trying to hang your lights on and you don't have to put nails on the wall to hang your lights. And then I also use these to organize all the wires and like my phone charger and I did it for my boyfriend's desk too. Like our Apple Watch charger and our phone charger always falls to the floor and you know, you get it. So it just clips and now we can just do it really easy without having to bend over or go under the bed and look for the cord. Along with those, I also wanted to try Velcro strips. I feel like these hang a little better, but I did also use the Velcro, Velcro strips to hang uh, my picture. So I kind of like those too. Okay, then I got my cat some stuff. So it's already in its place. I'll just show a picture again. Um, and I like it because for those of you who have cats, the next like minute will be dedicated to cat stuff. Um, I like it because they have to go in through the top and they were kind of weird about it at first, but now they use it and then I don't know if you have cats, they like mine at least, they like to scratch the litter box and just throw all the litter out on the floor for fun. This one they can't do that because the entrance or the hole is on top of the litter box and it was really big. I didn't think it was going to be that big so it's perfect. Then I got them greenie treats. It's really hard to brush their teeth. His doctors told me like just try to brush his teeth or give him some greenies and then they love these too. I used to give them temptations but temptations are bad for them. So I got some, got them some greenies and then also, so the sticks are in here now. I'll just, hopefully they don't like come for me. These sticks, um, I forget what they're made. I did research on it. I just can't remember, but they're catnip sticks made of, hold on, made of plant matatabi, silver, silver vine, matatabi, silver vine chew sticks. And they're to clean cat's teeth, so the cats are supposed to chew them. And my cats actually do some, one of the cats like rubs it against her teeth. So it's supposed to be good for them. I think I've noticed a difference in one of my cats, Princess, because she really chews on it and her breath smells a lot fresher. So I got them that since I can't really brush their teeth. They came in this bag like this, but I just, to make it neater, I put them in the greenies box because I keep their cat treats and let me show you. Keep them in this cute little container that I bought a while ago at Marshall's. Moving on from the cat stuff. Oh wait, another cat thing. Um, I haven't put it together yet, so I'll show a picture of it again. I bought them a cat fountain and um, I'm gonna put it together after this video and I'll insert a clip of, of how it looks when it's put together with the water running. So I'm gonna replace their bowls with this little cute fountain. Stop it. She fucking smells this shit. Eat up. Go over there. No, no treats right now. She's gonna knock it down. Pinche malcriada. Quien te hizo así? I also got this newer LED light for my camera. It's this one. And then it comes with a different like setting for I guess the color. I don't really like this at all, but I also don't know much about filming or cameras or lights, so I feel like I'm using it wrong or I'm using it for the wrong purpose. Um, I, I helped my sister take pictures of the food for my sister and her boyfriend's meal prep service company. Uh, we love food and it was terrible for taking pictures. I ended up having to like grab my big old ring light and still have to take pictures, but I guess it's good for like videos maybe, like if I'm wanting to record something and move around, it can light up the space. So I want to record them like doing cooking and stuff. So I guess it'll work for that purpose. We're good. I'm going to find out, but to take pictures, this was not good at all. And I think that's because that's not what this is for. I have to buy like the mini ring light that attaches to the lens on the Sony camera. This came with the battery charger, the battery and this for $45, which wasn't that bad because I found one for 25, but it wasn't including the batteries and then the batteries alone were super expensive. So it didn't make any sense. Then I bought some Glad. Glade. Glade candles. They smell really good and they were like two bucks. I bought candles from Ikea that came with this little holder here. I'll show you. It's really pretty. But the problem is if I want to buy like a big old candle, it doesn't fit here. So the Glade ones fit perfectly. And again, I'm also like super cheap. 
I really wanted like candles that burn well and, and actually like provide a scent to the room and they're like $25 these are things I'm just getting into, so I didn't even know that candles were expensive like that. I was like, what the fuck, it's a candle. But whatever, I couldn't afford the one I wanted. I wanted this birthday cake candle because I wanted the room to smell sweet, like, I don't know, like baking. It was $25 and it was huge, so I just stuck to those. And the only downside about these, even though the room does smell good, it's not like strong enough for me to scent. And, uh, and I have a sensitive nose, but they burn so fast. Like, oh, this one's dirty, sorry, but look at this. I barely lit it and it's like already gone i think the last thing i didn't need this but i wanted it i don't like the little mouse pad on the laptops i, I connect a mouse a wireless mouse to my laptop and i didn't have a, pa a mouse pad so i bought this it's super cute i was trying to stop myself from buying another cat thing because what am i like 12 but i was just gonna stick to a regular plain grain mouse pad but this is so cute and it has wrist support. I'm really excited to use them and be like. I think that's it. I don't remember what else I bought. I'm pretty sure I went through everything on the list. I bought some stuff that hasn't arrived. I think the only thing I'm missing is acetone. And then I bought my friend, one of my really good friends. It was his birthday. So I bought him a couple things that haven't arrived yet. But I'm trying not to buy so many things. But I do have one thing in my cart that's just kind of hanging out. And I'm trying not to, but I think I am going to buy it. But they're uh, like drawer organizers for your desk. So I like kind of need it. But yeah, thanks. I hate this part. I guess. Oh, fuck. Let me hold my cat. That'll make me feel better. Okay, this helps. Thank you guys for watching my small random shit I bought on Amazon video. I might do another one of these if I do need to buy more things. I don't know if you know the feeling, but getting an Amazon package feels like Christmas Day. It's like an addiction. I need to stop. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it killed some of the boredom you're probably having staying at home just like I am. I hope you guys have a good day because I know I am. Fucking little bitch, though. I'm you a little bitch. I'm you, yes, you a little bitch. Hey, get that ducky.